Oscar De La Hoya, ladies and gentlemen, and here is the face-off for Oscar De La Hoya and Vitor Belfort, September 11th, live on Triller Fight Club pay-per-view from Staples Center here in Los Angeles. <laughs> What a moment in combat sports history. Two legends going at it on Saturday, September 11th on a Triller Fight Club pay-per-view. Gentlemen, take your seats. Why did you decide to select Vitor Belfort? Well, I've, I've, always, um, I've always been in challenges all my life. I've been, I've been fighting all my life basically since I was five years old. So I've had every challenge um, in the book. I've fought the very best from Pacquiao to Mayweather to Hopkins to Julio Cesar Chavez. Um, I, wanted, I wanted a different challenge, a challenge that's going to, a challenge that's gonna take my, my mentality uh, my training to a whole new level. I'm facing a guy who, who is a light heavyweight champion of the world. And that to me, that to me is a real challenge. Um, the fact that he's a striker, the fact that he has the most knockouts in UFC history, um, you know, I have to adjust to his style as well. You know, there's one thing about boxers having a different style than than UFC fighters but there's also one thing about UFC fighters having a different style than boxers you know we have to adjust and it's not gonna be easy because I only have what seven weeks left to adjust to that style so that's a challenge for me and I've always been one to take on the very best and um, Vitor Belfort obviously is considered the very best you were very adamant about this fight not being an exhibition. This is a real fight. This is going to count on both of your professional boxing records. Why were you so adamant about making sure this was a real fight? It'll be contested over the course of eight rounds. Well, this is not, this is not a game. You know, we don't, we don't play boxing. We don't play UFC. We don't play MMA. Um, I literally said, look, if we're gonna do this, let's do it for reals. Let's let's not do this song and dance. Let's not let's not do these exhibitions. You know that we're tired of. This is the real thing, and um, you know the fact that Balfour feels great. I mean, look at him. The felt I feel amazing. I feel literally better than ever. And um, the fact that we both agree that it's gonna be a real fight. Um, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I have no shit to talk about Balfour whatsoever. I respect you, brother. Like, there's no tomorrow. But I'll tell you one thing, we're going to kick the shit out of each other. That's one thing for sure. And that's what I'm actually looking forward to. It's, I mean, call me crazy, but I'm looking forward to it, you know? Um, I miss that. I miss that getting hit. For some strange reason, I miss getting hit. So, I mean, come September 11th, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. When a Navy SEAL go overseas, he's having joy on what he does. If he doesn't have joy on what he does, he will kick and come back in the coffin. So it's when you step in the ring or in the combat sport, you gotta have fun. Like Oscar said, he you wanna wanted to get hit. You wanna you want the war. So it's my whole life it's been in wars, not picking opponents. And when I pick, I pick the hardest one. And I do pick the hardest one. Oscar is the best best boxer of all time. So I'm, I'm coming into the sport that he's mastered. And I, I learn boxing in a different level because I have to adjust to my fight. Like I said, we have to adjust to each other. But like I said, it's, I'm, I'm going, that's my style. A lion, when he's trying to become another type of style, he, he loses his prey. So I have to come as a lion. And that's been my whole career. I'm, I'm like coming as that mentality. If I don't, if I don't look, if I don't knock him out, I'm losing my family. It's everything's on the line. This is real as I get. It's a lot of respect for both of us. But when it comes down to that table, that moment, I say, 
time is on, we gotta go after each other. So it's 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 this a generation thing, it's a legacy thing. It's it's bigger than it's it's uniting this both sport in one for all. So the best of both, we we united. So I'm looking for it. I think that your size is going to play a significant factor in the fight on September 11th. My heart, not my size. The king of the jungle is the lion for a reason. He's the most courageous animal. He can go on the river full of alligators and not scared of alligators. He, he can by himself. And on that ring, me and him, we're gonna be by ourselves. So fighting, it's a real sport. You can play football, you can play basketball, you cannot play boxing, you cannot play combat sport. So in my mind, I can beat any man. And that's how I thought. When I was 18 years old, I fought a guy 370 pounds. I was 185. So I don't, I, it, it's the bigger they are, easy they to fail. So it's about skills. And I know Oscar has a lot of skills, so it's all about the feet. You gotta move your feet on that, on the, on the, on the ring. I, I know he has more experience with me in the ring, so I gotta like match him up. I gotta cut the corners. And I know he's a lefty for, but he, you know, he, he's a right hand, so he has a great jab. So he's the best jab of boxing. So it's a lot of things in the mid, so it's, it's a fun. And like I said, I, I'm gonna have joy when I start getting hit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the opening. I'm looking for the moment. And that's what defines combat sport. We put in the best, I'm fighting with the best of all time. So, could not get better than that. Oscar, how do you combat the size difference on September 11th? He's obviously the biggest man that you've ever fought over the course of your career. Being right now, how do you handle that on September 11th? It's um, just being mentally prepared, basically. Obviously, you have to do the physical work and you get the appropriate sparring partners and guys who are heavier, who push you back, the weight. But most importantly, and I have this same mentality um, that, that Balford has, is um, it's all here. It's all right here in the mind. It's, it's the king of the jungle mentality. You know, there's a reason why. And I strongly feel that... Um, you know, he can come with everything. He can come with everything. Um, we have eight rounds to fight. And the first one who makes a mistake is gonna pay for it, you know? And it's gonna happen over and over and over again. Whether it's gonna be me, whether it's gonna be him, we have to be prepared 100% because, yeah, it's dangerous for both guys. It really is. It's not just dangerous for me because he's bigger. But it's dangerous for him as well because I have I have some skill. Do you feel as well on September 11th? Is this the return of Oscar De La Hoya? I've read comments that you said that two fights and then I have no problem fighting Canelo Alvarez. I will never disrespect um, you know the fighter I have in front of me. You know, um, never have all my life. No matter who it was. Because inside this ring, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. You never know. You get knocked out. You get, you know, you lose, whatever. Um, change, plans change. So, yeah, do I have a plan, a long-term plan, a short-term plan? Yes, it's nice to, it's nice to prepare. But it's, it's never nice to disrespect. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do what I have to do in order to take myself to that next one, to the next level. And challenge myself, and can, and continue to, to 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 face the toughest challenges in my life. Yes, do I want to fight Floyd again? Absolutely. Would I want to fight Canelo? Why not? If I get knocked out, I get knocked out. At least it was a fun fight. You know, <laughs> that's my mentality. I love fighting for. The glory is beautiful, the fans, it's beautiful. But when you love it, when you have this like deep respect for it, it's like no matter what happens, you're okay with it, you know? And now, question, Vitor, prediction September 11th. You stick it with the knockout? Yes. Knockout for Vitor Belfort, Oscar De La Hoya. Your prediction, September 11th. Knockout. Both of them predicting knockouts. Oscar De La Hoya, Vitor Belfort, ladies and gentlemen. They will pose off one more time. Trailer Fight Club pay-per-view. Both men have exclaimed they will knock each other out. You can check it out at Staples Center. Tickets will be available soon. You can order the pay-per-view on Trailer Fight Club pay-per-view. The Golden Boy.
the Hall of Famer, the gold medalist, Oscar De La Hoya, against the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the Phenom, Vitor Belfort. It all goes down Saturday, September 11th, here at Staples Center in Los Angeles. Trailer Fight Club pay-per-view. Looking forward to a historic night of boxing here in Los Angeles. You got a comment on your dad? Did, did dad come back to boxing? What do you think? I think it's great. Yeah.